Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, Communications Director for Nash County, and you're watching a show about your county government. We're going to talk about the 2024 season of the Nash County Farmers Market. We're going to meet the new mascot for the Pet Connection Center, and we're going to talk about tax revaluation in this episode of Nash County Now. Opening day of the Nash County Farmers Market is happening at April 6, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'll have live music, we'll have free samples. Parker's food truck is going to be here, and all your regular vendors that you're used to seeing are going to be back. Sunburst Tomatoes is going to be here with their world famous greenhouse tomatoes, and, and they've already got some now. So they should have plenty opening day. HS Howell, Rob's Fresh Produce. Strawberry City, Mama Jean's, and then Wren's Farm. So we should have plenty of strawberries open in day. We have a great community atmosphere. So this is not only a place to shop, this is also a place to come meet your friends. A lot of people come, they walk around with their, their crowd of friends and shop for their produce. They get a meal at the food truck, they sit down, they have a nice interaction on Saturday mornings. So we actually have a little coffee group that comes. You know, if you don't want to do the food truck, there's other options here with the concession stand and you can eat, get a drink. There is um, Chick-fil-A breakfast that you can get at the concession stand and they also have sandwiches uh, at lunchtime too. So the new thing that we have this year is we're going to have a kids day about once a month and we're getting some help with 4-H so we'll be promoting some of the things that happen in 4-H. We have Miss Bailey Teen is going to come out and help. She's a 4 h -er here in Nash County and she's going to come help with some of the events that we have that are going to be directed toward kids in 4-H. We fortunately got a grant from Nash Arts and we have more music this year than we typically have so we're going to have a spring music series and so we're going to have several groups that are diverse. Miss Minnie and the Sandman Band is going to be here March the 30th for our kickoff concert. We always have a kickoff concert the week before the farmer's market opens and we have booked Miss Minnie and the Sandman Band. They're super popular in the area. They do beach, they do jazz, they do top 40, um, they do some country hits. So I'm, I'm sure we're gonna be hearing a good mix of all types of music. So we also are gonna be serving free barbecue and it is gonna be cooked by the winner of the 2023 People's Choice Barbecue Competition that happened here at the market. Mike Robison is the person that is going to be cooking it and I mean people loved his barbecue last fall so we know everybody will love it this spring. And we will have some hot dogs for kids. We will also have fixings. We're going to have local sweet potatoes. We're going to have slaw made with local cabbage. Um, so, and we'll have desserts uh, supplied as well. So the only thing you need to think about is buying a drink and Koi Pond will be here to serve the adult beverages. So that is March the 30th and it's, the food starts at 5 p.m. and the music starts at 6. There's also going to be some free items raffled away at intermission. One of the things that we love to do is have um, the Tractor Club come down. They are actually coming here from Stra for Strawberry Jamboree on May the 4th and then they will be here for Watermelon Tractor Day in August. So we've got that all covered. They love to come, they love to display their tractors and people like to see them. If you want to know what's happening at the Farmer's Market, the best way to do it is through our Facebook page, and we are the Nash County Farmer's Market in Rocky Mount. And if you have questions about the Farmer's Market, you can call me at 252-904-3250 and find out information. Coming up next, we meet the new mascot of the Nash County Pet Connection Center. Jason, let's go see your room. What do you think? We kept it a little spare, so you can decorate it how you like. Dinner! There you go. Excellent. Soccer is fun. Yeah, I saw you guys out there. We're in the back room. 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 We're in the back
pastures are a fact of life in the U.S. And between activities and school, chances are you won't be with your kids when they happen. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids can help your children feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. So this is Ember. Um, she's about a seven to eight week old husky. She came into the Pet Connection Center on January 25th. Now, I was actually out on the call that day, come back, walk through the kennels, trying to put more animals up. And I saw her and her brother were already in here. So I've got a special tie to Huskies. I'm just loving it ever since I was a child. And then I mean, I saw her and just she's just beautiful. And I just felt like we had to have her and she came in here for a reason. It's like she got along great with me and the other officers. I just thought putting two and two together and having ideas and me and the rest of the guys talked and we're just all animal lovers. Kind of came up with the idea about making her our official mascot and using her for a lot of PR stuff in our community. Career days at the college, riding with us in parades, going to the elementary schools, educating children about animals, how to treat animals, what to expect from animals, how to care for pets, things such as that nature in our community. Um, and also just great advertisement for the Pet Connection Center. So for her life at the shelter, um, she'll have it pretty much made and laid back. Um, she'll be in here in the office interacting with customers, coming in and out, helping with adoptions, what she can. She'll be hanging out in the back with us a lot. Um, she'll be right by our side. She will be riding on calls with us when we go out and check on complaints and welfare checks for animals and things such as that nature. She would be in the truck confined to the cab of the truck at that time. She would not be getting out interfering with any other animals um, or our daily operation. She's there pretty much for moral support. So we are closed on Saturday and Sundays. Um, who's ever on call comes in and takes care of the animals that we do have. Um, but for her, since she's a special pet for us here, she'll actually be going home with one of us on the weekends. My hope is pretty much education. We want to educate the public. A few people have met Ember. She actually starts her training very soon. Once she is properly trained um, and she comes back to us from her training facility, um, I mean, she'll be good to go. Um, but the interaction she's had so far has been outstanding. I mean, she's cute now as a puppy, but even as an adult doll, she'll still be great and very useful for educational purposes within our community. If you want more information about Ember or the Pet Connection Center, call 252-459-9855. Speak to myself and one of the other officers. Bye bye. We'd like to thank some community partners for helping us out with Ember. Coates Veterinary Hospital is taking care of all of her vet care, and King's Canine Kennel and Training is helping train Ember to be the best mascot she can be. Coming up next, we talk about a change in property values. There was a time in my life where I was extremely homesick. I decided that I needed a pet. When I first saw a Turtle, my heart was full. He jumped up and kissed me and like jumped right into my arms. I immediately went up to the volunteers at the shelter and said, I want him, like, he's gotta come home with me. Not anything but lonely. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day and keeps me company when I'm doing schoolwork. I like it when he jumps up on the table, too. He is a veggie thief. He's an incredible companion and my best friend. Can't say that I've met anybody that doesn't love him, too. When I adopted Turtle, I discovered all the things that make him unique. He's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly he's all pure love. What is property revaluation? Property revaluation, also known as reassessment, is the process of updating the assessed value of properties within a jurisdiction for the purpose of determining property taxes. The state of North Carolina mandates that all 100 counties must perform a revaluation at least every eight years. Some counties choose to reassess values more frequently, but Nash County's revaluation is usually on an eight-year cycle. So why is Nash County reassessing values early you have probably noticed that homes and property prices have reached historic levels since Nash County's last revaluation in 2017. Values have increased so much that the state of North Carolina requires Nash County to reassess property values a year earlier than expected. Many counties around us are also going through the revaluation process. This action was triggered by a formula called the Sales Assessment Ratio. Every year, the state randomly selects properties that were sold in the county during a select time frame. 
If the county's assessed value of the properties is lower than 85% of the sale of the properties, a revaluation is triggered. After our 2017 revaluation, North Carolina's sales assessment ratio of selected Nash County properties was 98.42% of market value. Since that time, our sales assessment ratio has fallen to 62.41%, triggering a property revaluation. How does Nash County reassess property values? Nash County hired Piner Appraisal to perform this year's revaluation. Assessors from Piner review various factors that can influence property values, such as the size and age of your property, changes in the real estate market, and property improvements and deterioration. They use this information to reassess the value of each property to ensure that it reflects its current market worth. In early March, property owners will receive a notification of their updated property assessment, along with information on how to appeal if they believe there are errors in the assessment. Nash County then uses the updated assessments to calculate property taxes, an important revenue source for funding essential public services and infrastructure projects. An appeal process is included in the notification you receive by mail, which can also be found on Nash County's website at www.nashcountync.gov. The process includes formal and informal appeal opportunities. Will property taxes increase due to the revaluation? The purpose of tax revaluation is not to create more revenue, but to provide an accurate and equitable assessment of values countywide. Nash County may choose to remain at the tax rate of $0.67 cents per $100 valuation or change to a new rate. Seven years ago, during the last revaluation, Nash County held the tax rate at $0.67 cents when property values decreased. During the 2009 revaluation, the county lowered the tax rate from $0.70 cents to $0.67. Cents. The tax rate decision will be made later during this year's budget process and is expected to be adopted by the Board of Commissioners no later than June 30th, 2024. Once approved, the new tax rate will be used to calculate 2024 property tax bills expected to be issued to all Nash County property owners in the fall of 2024. If you have any questions about Nash County property revaluation, please contact our tax office at 252-462-2778 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. Well, that does it for this episode of Nash County Now. If you have any questions, please email info at nashcountync.gov.